Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me. So today we are doing uh, Keep It, Fix It, Dump It for August. So if this is your first time seeing one of these videos, this is where I take products that I was sent throughout last month that I haven't had a chance to try just yet, or products that I've bought. I think about, am I gonna keep it? which means I'm gonna keep it. Am I gonna fix it? Which means I'm gonna keep it, but I wish there was something I could change about it, but it's not bad enough for me to wanna get rid of it. And then dump it means it gets donated or gifted, or I put in my giveaway bag. Um, Yeah, so should we just get into it? If this is your first time here on my channel, hi, my name is Robert. I'm a professional makeup artist from, why do I keep saying from? here on YouTube and also real life. And it's my goal to help you become a pro yourself or just someone who's really good at makeup. So if that sounds like something you are interested in, then please do consider subscribing. Okay, I already have eye primer on. I've done my brows. Today we're gonna start with um, ColourPop. Now I'm gonna be completely honest, which I am completely honest. I'm um, on ColourPop's PR. I'm also an affiliate with them. So if you see something from ColourPop in my videos, it is, there's a link below discount code and affiliate link. However, I haven't really shown off much from ColourPop because for this, they sent those like um, ice cream quad things. I hated them. I thought they were awful, terrible. I don't know what it was. I just didn't like them. I also didn't like the color selection. I feel like for eyeshadows, like you needed something to finish a whole look, it just didn't, it just wasn't, cons I don't know, it just didn't feel like I could do a whole look with one palette or two palettes, but not everyone's gonna buy every single eyeshadow palette. So today I'm trying these. These are from their new collection. We have New Millennium, which is this one. Just, just a glitch, which is this shade. And then also we have Digital Playground, which is this one. These are cute. I get what they're doing here. This is like a Y2K kind of thing. And I do also have the Super Shock eyeshadows from them. So that's that. Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna try those on an eye today. And I also have some lashes from Sigma, but I'm gonna stick those on at the end. So shall we just do it? So there's obviously purple right there. I can't really escape it. It's the main theme. <laughs> so let's just do it. Let's get on with it. Now my issue with the palettes last time was they were almost too dry, too matte. To be quite honest, I didn't know, I didn't um, enjoy using them. And I like ColourPop's eyeshadows. I don't know what it was. Maybe it was just the palette I was using because it did have like a bright, bright neon pink. And we all know how hard it is to formulate like a neon shade and have it actually be nice. That's better, that feels better. I don't know what it was about the other one. Okay, this is more like true to ColourPop formula for me now. Let me know, did you get, you, you know those like ice cream quad things, I can't remember what the collection was called. Um, did you get them and what was your experience with them? I used the one that was yellow and pink. Um, and I actually stopped filming the video and filmed it the next day because I was so pissed off. <laughs> these are nice though, I like these. Maybe because it's purple. Listen, I haven't done a, done a purple look in a really long time. That could be a lie. That could be a lie. Listen, I'm really excited today. Later today, after I film this, you if you know me, you will know how much I love Disney, right? <laughs> and the other week I got an invitation from Disney to go to an event in London for Disney Plus. And I was like, fuck. <laughs> it's happened. My one goal <laughs> as an influencer. <laughs> so I'm very excited. I can't wait to go. So I'm just gonna take this lighter purple. Oh, this, oh, I wonder if that's gonna show up. It's not, that looks kind of like white purple, but it's, it's more like um, lavender-y in the palette. And I'm just gonna take this one, TRL. TRL, what does that mean? Wasn't that that show on MTV? I'm sure it means something. I think I want to go into the Just A Glitch palette and take this, take a bite, which is this like, um, do I use that dial up? Mm. Hmm. You know what, it's a little bit, I would like in this purple palette, the equivalents, does that make sense? So I would like like a, like there's this pinky shimmer, but I don't have like this white iridescent, like we could have done a white iridescent pink instead of this, this quite boring pinky shade, that would be nice. You know what, I'm just gonna take, Oh, I don't know what to do. Okay, I'm gonna take, does it say Friendsters, which is this shade, and then take a bite and do that on the inside corner. Oh, I do, I really like that, that's a nice color. Okay, let's go. Tiny brush in that Friendsters shade. He 
see here's what I would really like now across the palettes there's nothing darker like really dark but I can go into the outside corners off my lids and make a finished what I consider to be a finished look um so what I'll do is I'll take the deeper one what's it called I don't even say that and then see what that gives us yeah, I guess it's okay, but I feel like I really want a deep, deep purple. I guess we don't have to. I'll see what it's like, see how I feel afterwards. Okay. All right. So I'm going to fix these. Reason being, so fix means I'm keeping them. Remember, I do like them. However, if I was to fix it, I would take out this shade, for example, and put in a darker purple than this. I know it's like a whole theme, but like 90s, 2000s, we did do deeper colors. Also, I would take out perhaps this boring, like these pinks are very boring. Um, I'll take that out and do like a deeper shade. This is cute because we have this lighter shade. I would maybe take out mm, chat room and do a deeper green. I don't know if I'll use the super shocks on top because mm, do I? I know I like super shock shadows. That's a, uh, just incredible. Should we do it? Fuck it. Let's use our finger and do it. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, I just love super shock shadows. They are the best eyeshadow formula ever. Ever, ever, ever. That was a shade Cami Crush. Mm. So of course those super shocks are keeps always, always keep. <laughs> I'm not mad at it. Now I've added something lighter on the inside. I'm not mad at the, um, not having a deeper tone. <coughs> okay, so for concealer, I already know I'm going to keep this one, but I just I just kind of wanted to share it with you. This is the Skin Base Concealer Pen from Illamasqua. Let me just tell you, this metal bit on the end here, I'm just going to do like one pump, and it brings up enough. The metal bit... It's like cold. Oh my god, it feels amazing. It feels so good. And um, the formula itself, so I'm really, really liking the formula of the concealer because it's kind of like this, like, really strange, it's like a mousse, but also it's, like, cream. It's like it's been, it's like it's been whipped, you know? Oh, why did I just put, I used the wrong shade. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> So this is definitely a keep, and this is something I think I'll be recommending a lot to people because it's just so beautiful, and it blends so easily, but it doesn't look textured on the skin at all. Like, it looks so, so nice. And just the texture, like, it doesn't look textured in any way. Like, my nose is quite a textured area of my face. My under eyes, of course, are a little bit textured. I don't know why recently I've been extremely tired, and I just look... Um, tired. <laughs> okay, let's finish up under the eyes with this palette. Okay, so I purchased these from NYX. This is a Total Control Pro Drop Foundation. I got these when I did my full face of NYX, but I ended up using a different foundation by them. I can't see properly. So I'm going to give this one a go. I'm going to try Medium Olive. Does it say Coral? Oh, natural. <laughs> and see how it sits. I'm guessing it's not meant to be full, full coverage, so that's fine. Oh. Very watery. It's like a, a piece in there. But I've been really, really impressed with NYX recently. So there go. Okay, this is too dark. Whoa. <laughs> I'm just going to mix in some of the natural with that one. That's better, right? Okay. Quick, take that off before. Oh. This reminds me of... um airbrush foundation before you put it in the not that I know anything about airbrushing but <laughs> I used to use airbrush foundation just straight out of the bottle because it was so matte and um, it would dry so matte and it just wouldn't move what a weird weird foundation I don't know if I like it this drop is shit like nothing's coming out I think it must be broken it's very messy as well I guess that depends on who you are and how you use it doesn't it you really, you actually don't need that much, so I can kind of see why the drop is like very minimal and what it gives out. That is weird. That is weird, weird, weird. Like it's, it's, change. it changes color. 
like it's oxidizing but really quick it really does remind me of you know what it reminds me of you know those cushions that you get that are like velvet or like not just cushions you know velvet in general and you like brush it one way and it's one color and you brush it the other way and it's another color <laughs> oh no oh my god no that's a horrendous foundation jesus that is so strange what a horrible horrible texture my god i hate that that's fucking terrible no oh no was it them who did that other drop foundation that was just horrific this is terrible this is awful like it's like you're you use it and it kind of like put look look at all this caking and then it's getting like caught on my beard but like it's darker and the areas where it's getting caught it almost has like an outline it's so strange it's like it won't blend into itself Okay, let's fix this up somehow. <laughs> okay, so this is a big, big dump it. Dump them, like chain, like concrete blocks to them and dump them in a river, dump them. They are terrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, so next up again, we have ColourPop and this is from their range of like cheek palettes that they did. Oh, there's a highlighter in here. That's good, I'll use that. They're loving like the four palettes recently. Doesn't smell like I don't know why I did that. It doesn't, I know it doesn't smell. Okay, I want to mix these two together. Yeah, this is nice. This is cool. The blushes um ColourPop do are really, really nice when they release their collections. You know, they usually have like two blushes and it's usually a pink tone and then like an orange attire. <laughs> they are really, really nice um blush, so this is cute. I like that, it's subtle. Let's go for the highlight and see how that looks. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh my God, the highlighter feels like a super shock highlighter. <gasps> okay, that's way too much, but let's buff it in, it'll be fine. Oh my God, I would have put this on before had I known. Okay, <laughs> I thought it was gonna be a powder. Oh, it's really, really pigmented. You need like the tiniest, tiniest amount. This is. I'm using too much. It's so strong. Remember when people were doing this though with a highlight? Okay, it's it's so much. I can't seem to, for some reason, I can't seem to gauge how strong it is. I mean, it's definitely not the shade for me. Like I could have gone, I definitely should have gone a little bit deeper, but I thought it was gonna be a powder. It's really nice, really, really nice. I really like that. Keep. Okay, that was a shock. That was a very pleasant surprise. <laughs> okay. So for the lips, we have Code A Universal Lip Gloss. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's cute. I like that. Not for this look though. Mm. Mm. It's like a balmy gloss. It's really nice. It's, it's really comfortable. It feels fit. It feels full. Like it feels like it's gonna stay. Mm, I really like that. I'm actually gonna put something on though because I don't think it is quite, uh, yeah. Oh, I was meant to use uh, the highlighter from Vive. I'm gonna use this brand one day. I keep forgetting that I own it and I need to use it. I will use it. I don't really like that, but it goes with the look. Okay, I'm gonna put on some mascara and then we'll look at those Sigma lashes. Okay, so I have tried some, look how messed up my eyelashes are. I wonder if I get like a lash perm if it will sort them out. These are um, the Foam Ink Lashes from Sigma um, are they, is that, is Love Struck the name? Yeah, I think it's Love Struck. So I have um, used the Sigma lashes before and they were really nice, but I wanted to try these because these are the ones that kind of like are longer on the inside. So it kind of lifts the, um, in the middle. So it kind of lifts the eye a little bit more. So I wanted to give them a go as it isn't a shape that I usually try. The rib is really soft as well. Not too soft, but it's just like, it's not hard when I can't stand like a really rigid like rib on a lash. Honestly, I can't get over how shit my um, <laughs> eyelashes are. Just while I'm waiting for my lash glue to get really tacky, I really wanted to wear this today and I really wanted to show it off because it's so, so cute. This is um, a bracelet. This was sent to me by a company called Woof Palace and you can't see it very well. I'll show it on the key ring, but basically they sent me a key ring too. You send them a picture of your um, pets and they like, what's it called? Like they put it into the um, thing for you. So this is, this is Winnie. And on the other side, I have little Frankie. 
It's so, so cute. And you can really see them in, in the um, picture. It's so well done. So I just wanted to show them off and say thank you to them for sending those to me because they're so, they're so cute. They're very natural. I didn't expect them to be so natural. Like this just looks like, oh yeah, good, good mascara. So these are cute if you're not like a big, big lashes person. And there's, there's been some times I've used some lashes in my videos and people have been like, those lashes are too big. And I'm like, are you kidding? They look small to me. <laughs> then these would be nice to go for. These are love struck. Very natural. The only thing I would say is I don't like a lash that gives you almost like a mimicked liquid eyeliner, if that makes sense. And that is the case with... um thinner lashes because all you can really see is a gathering off a rib because with this look I personally wouldn't have lined so heavy but they're cute they're nice if I feel like if you're doing like I do prefer the other styles that they do this one I'm not so sure on this is like a style maybe I'll use on a bride or somebody who didn't want too much makeup on but other than that they're nice um so we're gonna keep those I'm looking at the cheeks now and I don't really like the way the highlighter from the Colourpop palette has kind of settled on. It looks very flat now and actually not so great. So it kind of suits this look, but other than that, mm. Well, listen, thank you so much for joining me. I would love to know what you thought of any of these products below. Do you have them? Is there something else you would recommend in place of them? Yeah, every product I use in today's video will be linked below. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Um, I was going to say give us a thumbs up, but that's the same thing as like. Thank you so much again for joining me, and I will see you very, very soon. Bye.